The OHL looks ahead at each of our teams as we head into the 2022-2023 season. Joining me now is Oshawa Generals head coach, Derek Laxdell. Coach, thanks so much for taking the time today. Thanks. Appreciate it for having me on today. You're familiar with the Canadian Hockey League, having coached the Edmonton Oil Kings to a Memorial Cup title in 2014. What are you most looking forward to being a head coach in the OHL? Well, I'm looking forward to the, the new challenge of obviously a different league in the Canadian Major Junior Hockey League and uh, playing in the Memorial Cup in 2012 and 14 and just seeing the different style of play uh, between the three leagues. And obviously, uh, I haven't coached junior since the last eight years, but having the opportunity to, uh, to get back to junior and to get back to almost the grassroots of the, I guess, the foundation of the professional leagues is uh, very exciting. Um, you know, it's, it's obviously, it's different coming back to working with kids from, you know, 15, 16 to 20 year olds and, and seeing that passion for the game and, and trying to get to that uh, ceiling of their development, you know, to the NHL, to American League, to CIAU, and just to see the passion of these young kids. And uh, it's kind of nice. And then, you know, obviously the, um, you know, playing against teams in the uh, Memorial Cup, there's a little bit different style of play. And to see just the, the influx of the, uh, the skill level compared to the Western League is a little bit different, a little bit higher end uh, than I was used to seeing in, in the Western Hockey League. When you take over a new team, how long does it take to get familiarized and adjusted with the group of guys that you have in front of you now? Well, it takes a while. Um, obviously, the all the different names and the first names, and I got to be honest with you, I've been here for almost three weeks, and I'm still having trouble with the first names. I know, I know the the last names, I know the nicknames, but it's the it's the first names I'm just starting to get a hold of. But uh, it's excellent. You know, there's a good energy here. There's a great energy when you come into a new team. Uh, the kids are excited to learn. They're excited to get on the ice, and uh, obviously, you know, we're trying to you know. Uh, put our touch on the team as a coaching staff to what, what we want to do, but we have to be aware of what we have as, as a team also. But um, that's why we're excited to obviously get the season up and running here on the 29th against Barry, And uh, we're looking forward to uh, playing that first game. You've had a few weeks of preseason and training camp now. Who's really stood out to you out there as a leader so far? Well, we're, we're kind of a mix of, uh, you know, we've got a, a really good group of, uh, you know, O3s and, and O2s, uh, some great leadership with that, uh, with uh, Leland Moore. Um, you're looking at even a youngster, Kevin Ritchie, uh, Brett Harrison, uh, Ryan Gagne. You know, these guys are, are great leadership, but we've got a good young group coming with, uh, you know, with Ben Danford, who's a 16 year old. You can just see these kids are going to be able to take over that leadership role uh, in the next coming years. But it's exciting to see the, the group we lack in the O4 department. Um, so there's, um, the group that we have moving forward, I think it's going to be, a, a a learning experience, especially for these young kids, but we're looking forward to that older leadership group taking over. And finally, as we head into this new season, what would you say are the club's expectations? Well, you know, going forward here, um, this division that we're in is very strong, very Peterborough, Ottawa, um, you know, Kingston's going to be good again. Hamilton's going to be good. So for us moving forward, our expectations are we want to be in the pack by the time we get to Christmas time. And then the second half, you start to see your young group really take strides. And that should help propel us, propel us a little bit moving into the playoffs. And obviously playoffs are a goal. And once you get to the playoffs, you never know what's going to happen. We really want to try and get through a round or two. And uh, once you do that, your green, your team really starts to grow and you never know what can happen. So um, but for right now, our, our goal is to make the playoffs and our goal is to get better every day. Well, coach, thank you so much for your time today. I wish you and the generals the best of luck as the new season starts. Well, thank you very much for having me today.